What's up? I think we're live. Let me refresh and make sure we are set. You can hear me and you can see me. And we're starting a little early, like two minutes early. And yeah, it looks like we're good. Okay, so I can see who is here in the chat. And really, I don't expect a lot of people to be in here tonight because there's so much going on. World Game 7. World Series. Those of you that do love baseball, and of course, Halloween being tomorrow, people might be at parties, people might be doing so many other things. But those of you that are here, I'm giving away a $50 gift card for Burlington. So that alone will be worth it, especially if there's low people watching, better chances of winning. Uh, Doug the Pug, baseball is whack. Uh, Astros and Nats, which I think. Uh, District Deals, I'm pretty sure, is watching. And Texas Pete, go Astros. So there we go. Uh, Jose, Patrick, the man, Mr. Information in hand. Appreciate the comment. Hacking the Matrix, Illmatic Mics, uh, District Deals, already talked about. Uh, Jason, Fly Kicks, Patrick, Robert, Eugene, Dapper Fanatic, eBay Joey, Des29, Doug the Pug, Fabian, Bryson, Flips Anonymous, Stevie D, what's up? Uh, Stone Builder, Hustle Crow, V-Card, Cheddar Bob, let's see what's good, Glenn, uh, let's see, V-Card, go Nationals, Jason, Ronaldo, uh, Flippin' Dollars, Aaron, Lone Wolf Media, Happy Camper, who are you going for? I actually don't know anything about, uh, about baseball, or I actually can't name, uh, I'm trying to see who can I name of anybody that's playing right now, is... Uh, Verlander, uh, there we go. Is that is that's a good one? Uh, Strasburg, I think. So, th there's there's a couple in there. Um, <laughs> yesterday I did watch Lakers though. Uh, my boy AD, monster game 40 and 20. So, Lakers, I will definitely watch. Ocean So, what's up? Um, okay, Bryce Harper. <laughs> uh, let's see, let me go back to. Uh, Des Tony, I love your Ross videos. Appreciate that. Nice finds on the Soul Flies. We're going to talk about that as well. That one will be a heads up for Friday's video. Um, you watch football? Yes, I do. And we're going to start off with, though, quite a bit of. We have so many weekend releases for shoes. Uh, what we're going to start off with Nike, friends, and family. All right. So. Nike friends and family, how was that for you today? Did you go at all? Today was the very first day. Mall usually opens at 9 or 10 a.m., depending on your area. And we have all the way until, I believe, Monday for extra 30% off. Now, what happened? Was it good? Was it not good? And here's the thing. Uh, doing my research, I went the days before. I went the day before. I went today. And I took photos of everything. And just like I made last video, I will do a video for this one and I will talk about the price changes. And shout out to who I saw today. Sorry, I'm bad with names. Uh, I know you came and said, what's up? I appreciate that. And you were like, I remember the video. You talked about them changing prices. That's why I'm only going to take this uh, because you talked about it and I could see them clearly changing prices because I was here the day before. And yeah, they did that big time for 720s. For Vapor Max, Air Max 97, Air Max Plus, they changed it, bumped it up an extra $10, $20. So I'm going to cover that um, in this friends and family video. That one probably won't be out until Monday, getting the edits in. But as far as uh, Soulfly Burlington Hall, that will be on Friday. So just finish that one up. So that video will be out. So friends and family, though, my recommendation is... If you've done your research, then you can still definitely find items to resell. If you didn't, I think this one might be a little bit tougher as well. But I would say do not force the issue. If you have capital on hand, don't force it just because it's friends and family. Do the proper research just like you would Ross Burlington Marshalls. And then um, after friends and family, uh, you know, look to see what kind of deals they have. I think the only thing really you can find right now, friends and family, are items that probably just got off the shelf that are going to go to the back wall that you want to save, you know, complete box. And if that was going to happen, 
you know, take advantage of friends and family, assuming also the price is right and they didn't change it. Other than that, stick with what you know, but don't force it. Okay, let's go to, man, what was the next one? Oh yeah, word of the week, Halloween. So tomorrow, you guys going anywhere in the chat, going to uh, spend time with the family, trick-or-treating, sourcing, parties, what's going on tomorrow for Halloween. But speaking of Halloween and the Halloween colorway, before we get into our weekend releases, how did the Shattered Backboard 3.0 do for you last week? Uh, I know a lot of stores did not get them. Certain stores did. People that really wanted them uh, you know, for the collection seem to be pretty happy with them uh, in hand. I also know people that took off all this glossy stuff uh, with a nice matte finish, so they uh, kept those. Look pretty clean as well. Let me see. Pass. Those are Fire L. Uh, still kicking at sports. Trick or trick with the kids. Uh, got an L from Zombies. Big W. Mr. Sports L A. Congrats on that one. Copped an L adjacent L W. Maximo finds nice. Uh, scored an eight off the sneaker app. That one's from Mike. Great size on there. Uh, got a pair hack in the matrix. Congrats. L's Hustle Crow. And let's see, two pairs. There you go. L, L, L. Little mix. Um, React Fortnite. A uh, bunch of W's. So congrats to you guys that did pick those up. We didn't even have them at our mall. And of course, sneakers app. Tough. I didn't even get one. Um, but eight and a half, Daryl. So congrats on that one. And uh, Patrick, to pass to Ross, not to pass by Ross. Who's going to go sourcing tomorrow dressed up? That's the real question. I was thinking, like, should I do, like, Ghostbuster? Should I do something else? Go sourcing tomorrow dressed up? I think that's where it's at. All right, let's get into weekend releases. And there's so many of them uh, that are coming out this week. And some of them already came out, like this one. LeBron 7 Red Carpet. $200 Tuesday, which was yesterday, October 29th. Did anybody um, get any of these LeBron 7s? I know Hustle B wanted one for the collection, wanted one for himself. Also got a little Hustler Hacks colorway in there. They're classics. And original packaging, the box, everything. Um, so not bad at all. Let's see. Dope, but too much. Um, source dresses, loss prevention. Still kicking it sports. Uh, it was... <laughs> No pass goes prisoner. No pass. Nah, Chicago to UNC. Only one to get. We're going to talk about that one. Nice. L, these are dope. Pass and pass eBay Joey. So, uh, been 10 years since LeBron 7 made its retail debut. So, that one was on Tuesday. Um, we're going to talk about the SBs during weekend releases. We're going to talk about that one. Um, and talk about complex con releases that are also coming out. So Jordan 12 Retro Reverse Taxi. Eh, I don't know how I feel about these. I mean, they are clean, but regular Taxi 12s, which when did those come out? Um, it's been a couple of years already. I'm pretty sure original Taxi 12s, those came out. People will definitely pick them up. Reverse Taxi, also paying 190 uh, comes out tomorrow on Halloween, October 31st. So black suede upper contrasted by white midsole while golden eyelets and gives this pair a luxe feel. So <laughs> this shake the heels. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Let me go in here. Nah, cop, meh, bricks, L, W, L. Uh, dope, but too pricey. Wait for the outlet. You can definitely do that. A uh, trash suede, ashy. Uh, from Stu. I can definitely see that as well. Uh, this is a family chat district deal. Thug the pug. Uh, let me see. Just trolling. Just release the taxis. I agree with Jose on that one. Bricks. Dope. Um, TBS Marketplace. What's up? Cop and pass. Next one. Jordan 7 Retro Black Gloss. Now, same thing. Comes out tomorrow. 190. This is women's only sneakers app and select retailers. So smash or pass in the chat collection or to resell. Totally up to you for the Jordan 7. And here's the thing, though, with this one. 
it's almost like they're trying to be Raptor sevens, but then they're not. And then that gloss on sevens, I mean, how is this going to be creasing quick? Uh, black gloss, let's see, feature patent leather construction on upper that's offset with bright crimson and orange accents. Pass. Nah, L, remind me of Raptors. Uh, B sizes, smash, not for the bottoms. Pass, smash, not too glossy. Patent leather Raptor 7s, exactly what um, I thought of when I saw them. Let's see, Jordans need to stop with the gloss. They're getting also glossy, and a lot of the Jordan 1s, I don't know how I feel about that. I think only certain colors can pull it off. Uh, let's see. Extra creasy, trash, year of the gloss. Pass and eBay Joey, not sure. At least he's honest. Next one. I think we talked about this one already, didn't we? But Nike SB Dunk Low, Night of Mischief, tomorrow. Um, here's the thing, though. I wonder about this one. It would have made sense to release a lot more before Halloween so you can rock these for Halloween. Uh, but $90, we know Dunk Lows, super cheap on that one. Glow in a Dark Soul. So that one, uh, let's see, Jack Lantern Toe Box, as well as Spider Embroidery on the sides. And select Nike SB Retailers. Um, so this one doesn't even see uh, show anything for like a sneakers app. So select SB Retailers. And a lot of them, small sizes already, 250 300 I think my size, I looked it up today, was at 200 So size 11 um, not too bad there. By the way, just so you know, guys, Nike SB Halloweens were taking off sneakers, only dropping at skate shops. So there we go. Uh, tomorrow, besides the boutiques that got them. So sneakers app did cancel. So here, only select Nike SB retailers. Probably why also uh, they've gone up so, so much already. You can see StockX and Goat, they're already, especially the smaller sizes, 300 plus. So, uh, but awesome shoe. Next one, I actually don't even know why I threw this one in here. <laughs> Under Armour Curry 7. Oh, you know why? Because Ross still with the Curry, the MVP pack, you should still be picking those up. It doesn't matter what size, pick those up. But Under Armour Curry 7 underrated. 140 comes out on Friday, November 1st. And does anybody have any uh, Curries? Do you rock Curries? Do you think they're comfortable? Um, or not. I personally don't have any pair. I did sell MVP uh, Curry's, I think, last year when I picked them up at Marshall's. Uh, but for 140 there we go. Micro G Foam for improved impact um, and energy return. So I rock Curry 6. They're comfy. There we go. React Fortnite. Uh, they have brick cushion mostly. So we got two different... <laughs> Two different feedback on curries back to back. All I see are bricks. I got curries from Robert Ross Special Cheddar Bob. Wait, people buy curries from bags. Uh, curry one, no tech budget foam, and not from not for 140. Mr. Sports LA. Mr. Sports LA knows what he's talking about. So, um, if you have 10, the ten dollar every 50 spent, use them. They're running a promo as well. I did see that. So, Patrick, good idea on that one. Try to run. Some promos, getting some deals if you want to pick up Curry's and Project Rocks and everything else that may be out there. Next one, Nice Kicks and Adidas Ultra Boost. 180 come out on Friday. So limited release. Fans will have another chance at the Nice Kicks Adidas Ultra Boost collab. Tie-dye upper. It celebrates 50th anniversary of the Woodstock Music Festival. And they got like gum bottoms, tie-dye. Smasher Pass collection or to resell. So 180 for these Ultra Boost. And it's the Pass, Smash, Yuck, kind of fire. Uh, smash, Dope, Meh, Pass, <laughs> Cheddar Bob, nice too much retail. Don't know resale is good, Smash. Uh, we're not about the three stripe, Doug the Pug, I agree. Resale, Smash, Sick, not bad, but also not the best. Pass smash so hard from Tyler and smash and smash Mr. Sports LA and still kicking it sports. No resale value from adjacent though. Next one. Uh, remember this one that did not come out. So now Friday, November 1st, $130. Nike Air Force One low. What the LA with all the LA teams in here. Beauty. On this one. So Air Force One combines color palette from every major sports team in LA. And we talked about that one as well when it didn't release. 
And now, coming out November 1st on Friday. So Nike.com and other select retailers. I know everybody should be smashing on this one. Collection or to resell does not matter. You want to pick these bad boys up. Uh, Chris said picking up on Friday at finish line. Nice. From Chris. Uh, we'll have a South Beach SB collab. When will they have? Um, I like the swoosh. Let's see. Fire smash all day. Smash collection and resale. Mission Sports LA. I know you appreciate these. Smash all day. They're so clean adjacent. Next one. I remember when I first saw this one. Uh, I had a little laugh. You know, I had <laughs> this, this strap up here. Anyway. Let's continue. Okay, so Friday, November 1st, 140. Jordan 1 High Flyees. And announced earlier this month, Jordan's brand Fearless Ones Collection. And there's, there's some good ones in there. Um, even the mids, some different mix. But for me, uh, just that I can't. Um, even with this, mm, that's not that bad here with this whole lace system thing. Uh, but that, that upper strap, it just, yeah. Uh, Fly East technology giving East entry into the shoe for athletes while staying true to its iconic look. Garbage, Mr. Sports LA. Uh, stay strapped, kids. Patrick, pa uh, pass, trash, nope. That's weird. <laughs> uh, district deals, oh no. <laughs> uh, pass, pass, great for handicaps. Man, these guys, the chat's a brutal. Uh, strap ruined the whole shoe, I agree. Um, you said only skate shops sell the Nike SB Halloweens. Yes, only uh, Nike SB skate shops will have those. Um, so I want to double check there. In case you want to know for the score, it's 1-0 still. And Astros are up mid-fourth, according to ESPN. For release and Savage Chat. <laughs> Next one. Yeezy 500 Soft Vision. And every color looks the same. Um, what did they say last time? Every color looks like the, like, you know, like rocks or sky or dirt or desert or I don't know, $200 Saturday, November 2nd. Crazy. We're in November already. A soft vision. So Adidas Yeezy 500 arrives in tonal purple hue throughout the mesh and suede upper. And uh, midsole before contrasted by gum brown outsole. Still ugly. Didn't just these release from Miles. Patrick, my vision went blurry. Poke my eyes out. Crap. Why? Just another way to get rid of surplus. Donald Trump Jr. would rock those. Electric relish. Uh, so ugly. Pass. Ter terrible. From Tr Sir Charles Barkley. Nope. And 200 for four marshmallows. So, yeah, pass on these. We get it, the 500. You see how many uh, 350 V2s are coming out in the next couple of months going into 2020. So many colors. They're, they're pushing these things out. And I think three more or four more colors got announced for, like, early 2020. Man, it's going to be wild. So many Yeezys. And I just think that... um. I mean, they're going to sit. Yeezys have already been sitting lately, um, but now over flooding with so many different colorways. I think it's uh, it's going to be bad. But speaking of Yeezy, how do we feel? I figured let's throw this in here. How do we feel? Kanye West, Jesus is King album released what, a couple of days ago, uh, last Friday, I believe. How do we feel about it? Kanye and uh, there we go, Shipley. Do you think a relig religious album will affect it? Um, I don't think so. Anything to do with the Yeezys. I think in general, they had been falling because of how many different colors have been released. And a lot of them look the same over and over again. Uh, we also talked about in the live show how reflectives and how, you know, they just kept falling and falling. And it's, yeah, I don't know, just too many of them. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Let me see what the uh, the chat says about uh, the album. So, Gospel Flow, District Deals, Fire, High, <laughs> Trash, Hate the New Album from Tyler, uh, Right on Time, Extra Crans, Kanye Doesn't Wear Yeezys, 
trash. I think it was fire. I haven't heard it. Trash. Didn't hear it yet. Uh, we're a little mixed. I mean, half the songs are trash, but most but most were fire. Uh, Kanye starting a cult. Uh, Taylor Swift better. Trash. And <laughs> so we have a mix in here. Ross Shellington love the album. James says trash. We have a mix. Everyone's torn about it. Um, here's the thing. Here's what I believe about it. I did listen to it. I do. I support Kanye and what he's doing. I don't. As far as music wise go, I mean, since college dropout, we haven't seen like an old Kanye that those type of verses and everything. So even then, my like love for Kanye music had been slowly going down anyway. So uh, what I think about it, support them. I think it's cool as far as music wise. Eh, I think it's it's better than okay, but it's not like the greatest thing ever. Uh, Chick-fil-A closed on Sunday. Exactly, Tyler. I <laughs> I remember when I first heard that one. Uh, is there a Burlington soft opening? Uh, depends where. Happy camper. Alexander, don't lie. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Here we go. Jordan 1, Retro High OG, Fearless, which is probably the one you've already put in submissions for, the one you want. 160 comes out on Saturday. Sneakers app and select retailers. And Jordan's basketball journey from Chapel Hill to Windy City with Split University Blue and Jim Red. Panet leather, of course, so it is shiny. Uh, let's see, for the collection resale, stop ruining ones. I need Smash. I would buy those. Cop, cop, cop. They're nice. Another gloss. Trash. Definitely Smash, mainly for resale. Uh, let's see... Smash all day, super flip. Where's the B? That's a good question. Um, I know he was driving around friends and family today, and he, I think he told me he didn't find anything for like the first two outlets. So he might still be on the prowl out there. Resell only, resell, and uh, the cool kid shoe from Gucci Bear. So 160, and even then, I don't know how I feel about him. I mean, I get the idea, but even then, kind of reminds me of um. Homage, what was that one called? Homage to Home or something like that. It was like half and half. Uh, but this one's like half and half the other way. I don't know how I feel about it. Next one, Kobe 4 Pro Tro. A lot of Kobe's been coming out, especially the Kobe 4. This one, 175. I think this is actually one of the better colorways I think we've seen. Uh, but Fade to Black Kobe 4 Pro Tro, inspired by the original Fade to Black Kobe collection. Released in 2016 in honor of Kobe's final season and swoosh inspired by Lakers team colors. Uh, fire, pass, pass, were pretty cool. Uh, let's see, pass, but fire, pass, pass. So this one, 175, I don't think, if Kobe 4 undefeated didn't really resell super high. I mean, there's resell value, but it wasn't like sky high. I don't see this one doing that well. Uh, but I think for the collection-wise, I think they're pretty cool. I think they're pretty dope. I think, will they go to the outlets? Uh, maybe. We've seen the Kobe 4 Pro Tro Hornets, that draft day one, um, hit the outlets. And I think some of the other colors did, too. Let's see. Uh, you had to cash out ASAP. Agree. Still, oh, still holding the, the pug. Um, let's see. If the soul was all black, it'd be fire. So right here. Yeah, I could see that, definitely. And let's see. Pass, but nice, Mr. Sports LA. Here we go. There's there's so many releases. Uh, Fear of God 1 Oatmeal. And what are the other colors we've seen? We've seen the yellow. We've seen that spruce green. We've seen the orange of sale was another color. So this one, Oatmeal, 350 is the price. So a fall-looking Coming to Jerry Lorenzo's Nike Air, uh, Air Fear of God 1, the latest oatmeal colorway, and double stacked Zoom Air cushioned midsole. Uh, best color yet from Shoe Monster. Fear of God for resale, Smash for resale. And, and same thing too, it's kind of like with Fear of Gods, it really depends on the size. I feel like um, size to what, 12 and 13, just like everything else lately has been. Uh, yeah, it's been tough. Uh, Lone Wolf, foot cow, foot cast looking ass. Uh, starting to look like Yeezys. No, all you need is a cream colorway. 
And no pass, no, and snow boots, district deals. All right, now we're getting into uh, ComplexCon. So anybody in the chat going to ComplexCon, this one is in Long Beach. So this one, BBC Ice Cream, check that out. Pretty cool. Kind of at least the people that could appreciate that, I guess, from Billionaire Boys Club. Um, so Reebok Collection with the Iversons. And this one, let's see, both low and high top versions as well. What does it say in here? A multi-sneaker collection. So there's, diff there's different other Reebok sneakers that are going to be releasing, not just the Iverson or the Answer 5s. Uh, but this one, let's see, not too poor from Jose. Uh, nah, okay, yuck. Those are dope. I'm not middle-aged, <laughs> so I ain't seen these hitting. Let's see, nice. Uh, let's see anything else. Would it rock but fire from Miles? So price 100 to 160 depends on the Reebok collection um, that's out there. Let's see SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward in one. Eighty dollars for high prices. Midlife crisis. Two sugary electric relish and fire from Victor. Now complex con exclusive. Also on Saturday. Check this out. Two different. Uh, that are releasing a white pair and a red pair. Look at that retail. 250 for the white pair, 500 for the red pair. Sneaker Room Kyrie 5 Mom. So it pays homage to late mothers, both Kyrie Irving and Sneaker Room owner. And this will be limited 525 pairs in white, 126 pairs in red, only for Complex Con this weekend. And let's see, did you miss the giveaway? No, you did not. You're still here right on time. $500 <laughs> miles, 500 for the red pair. Limited to 126 pairs only. Um, better have a special box. It better do more than that. Uh, cop for 500, but cop for 500. Uh, Audi, of course, for our, our giveaway. Uh, let's see. Those are the best Kyries I've seen. Extra grand's too expensive. 500. Um, do they know there are Kyries? 100 bots in line. Let's see what happens for this one. Complex con. I wonder what resale is going to be like. I'm curious to see Go and StockX and eBay after this uh, for that red pair for 126. Curious. And that's it. So Complex Con, if you're going, didn't seem like a lot of people in the chat are going. Uh, but if you are, you can take a look at those releases. Everything else, we have the Jordan 1s, we have the Fear of Gods, so many other things coming out, Kobe's and Yeezy's and everything else. Finally, here we are, store updates. We're almost 30 minutes in and <laughs> getting to the store updates. I wanted to make this one quick, too, for World Series. Uh, but World Series are not missing much right now. 1-0 still. Tacoma, Washington, anybody in this area, there's a new Burlington coming your way, taking over an old Toys R Us like they normally do. And this one, they just filed the paperwork. So I don't know when this one's going to open up, but it is coming soon. So Miles, finally in my area. Super Sisters Vlogs, yes. Uh, so there we go. It is coming to Tacoma, Washington. Take a look at that one, a new Burlington. Remember, for soft openings, grand openings, you want to be there whenever this one opens. And then uh, Ocala, Florida. Did I say that one right? I don't know if I did. Anyway, Marshalls. This one is opening tomorrow, Thursday, October 31st on Halloween. Go dressed up just because. And opens, what is this, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Grand opening... Uh, why 8 a.m. to 10 a.m.? I guess what they're doing. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> find out for this one uh, in Florida. Any Florida hustlers out there? Florida doesn't need any more from Sam. I agree. Super Sisters. Hello, everybody from North Carolina. Hello, Super Sisters Vlogs. Uh, let's see. 169 in the chat. You can, uh, yeah, hit that thumbs up if you're here. And also, the giveaway is coming up soon. So hit the thumbs up. Lowest working there now. Stevie D. Uh, let me see. I'm going to walk on my knees dressed as a bee tomorrow. Man, Doug the Pug, brutal. Let's see. Way too far from South Florida, Ocean So, Texas Gang, Gucci Bear. Yes, Night Tech, thumbs up. All right, so Marshall's coming soon, and that one is opening tomorrow on Halloween. So, 
I need I need some water before we do this giveaway time. Giveaways. These are our last winners. Ocean So Rodriguez. We're starting a brand new month coming up for the next live show. Landon Brown. Who, Landon, I still need to talk to you to give you the money you already won or gift card. Operation Retag. Uh, got everything. Sending that your way. And I'm also sending the winner for this one, Burlington. 50 bucks. So this one has Santa on it. Just in time for Christmas, just in time for the holidays. 50 bucks, I would definitely take that for Burlington. So, uh, <laughs> here we go. Now, I really want you to think about this one. And not just throwing in random answers. Really think about it. Nothing to do with Burlington and Ross employees and how many stores they have open. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. This one has to do with the fines, your fines. And if you can put them in order by most listed on eBay right now, here's what it looks like. There's six of them. You got to put, I need the right six numbers in order. Here's my example. All you got to do is put six numbers. If you think number five has the most listings on eBay right now, then you would start off with that. So five, three, and then so on and so on. Shout out to Kicks for Flips, Electric Relish, District Deals, Operation Retag, and Activate Hustle Mode for the photos. Put them in order. How many have the most listing to the least listed right now on eBay? Man, these 270s, not only is Burlington flooded, Ross is starting to get flooded with these. I'm like, what happened? What was Nike thinking with this shoe? So many of those out there. Okay, let me look at my answer because uh, there's so many of them coming in. I'm pretty sure somebody got it right already. Make sure I have the right answer. And the chat is going quick. So let me go on. I have my separate one on here because I'm going to double and triple check this one and make sure we got this one right. Let me go up. Let me go up. Oh, man, it won't even let me go <laughs> go that high in the chat. I can see. Okay. Uh, let me go in here. Curtis, no. Uh, let's see. Audi, <laughs> oh, man. I'll go in here, no. eBay Joey, no. District Deals, no. Let me go in here. Okay, Robert, let me see if you got it right. Let me check. I have, my, I have it on here. Robert, no. Uh, Ronaldo, one, three, no. Rich, no. Hustle Crow, no. This one might actually take us a little while. Uh, still kicking at sports. Very close. Uh, Jason, no. Let me see. And flipping dollars, six, three. Very close, flipping dollars. Uh, Lone Wolf Media. Let me see. I can tell you right now the first answer, if it starts with a six, then that's a pretty much the only ones I'm looking for because the answer is starting with a six. Uh, Alexander, no. Dapper Fanatic, no. I'm um, Seth, no. Cool Kicks, no. Happy Happy Camper, six, five, no. <laughs> oh, man. Hacking the Matrix, no, no. Uh, Pags, no. Very close, though. No, still no winners yet. So I can tell you, start to the six. We're going to take our time, too. So this, uh, this is 50 bucks on the line here. I mean, what are we thinking? Six, Five, no. I can tell you right now, it's six and five are the first two. Those are the only ones that I'm looking at now. Six, five, three. Uh, TBS, very close. Six, five. Robert, very close too. Not there, not there. Not there yet. Still not the right answer, so you can still put them in. Six, five, three, two. And that's not right. Very close. On T, what? J10. Uh, six, five. I gotta make these answers a little bit easier for the next one. Uh, let's see, six, five. No, 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 no. All right, now we're getting close. Aaron, no. Dan, six, five, three, four, two, one. 
Dan Myers with the correct answer. And it did take us quite a while to get it. But Dan actually got it uh, not too bad. Didn't take that long on the answers. But your correct answer is 653-421. Dan Myers, you won 50 bucks for Burlington. Doug the Pug always definitely rigged. And if you want to look at the breakdown for the tailwind, 418 listed. So people are saying they're not buying these. Well, somebody's buying these because if there's 418 listed, some people are taking them. And our next one are these Air Max Plus, which went up to 333 listings. Uh, the next one, Operation Retag with the Reacts, 197 listings. I think my boy Carlos picked these up recently. I've seen a lot of them at my Ross. District Deals um, had us with the Zoom Rookies, 153 results. Kicks for flips. We've seen this one everywhere, 270s, uh, 112. And the Kobe Igloo is the least. It's only 68 right now on eBay. So if you did find this shoe, get them listed. Maybe you want to wait until December. You'll get your money for them. There's not a lot of competition if you do find them out there. So I need the Migloos from Doug the Pug. Uh, any comments on these <laughs> that you want to throw in there for the chat? Uh, I'm th I think this is pretty much, it's kind of what we thought. I mean, Tailwind, this one I could see. I thought this one was a little bit more. Uh, but I have seen pretty much these four at every store I've been to this week. Um, I saw all but igloos. Those 270s are ugly. <laughs> Robert, who's actually picking up the 270s? Somebody is. Actually, there's over 100 people um, that have. See, glad I didn't win. Can't find enough to spend 50 at Burlington from flipping dollars. Um, so don't pick up the first three. Totally your call, Electric Relish. Uh, but this one, people that pick them up early, I know make great money on this one. I don't know how it's looking now. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting it for the collection, though. So 270s, when I saw them, instant pass. Uh, only seen the tailwinds lately. All right. Only picked up 270s. They were $24.99. <laughs> there we go. Getting the better deal from that. Here we go. Power rankings. And we are, what, 36 minutes in. Last week, DD's discounts, no one tagged us on anything. So same thing for this week. TJ Maxx, there's some pretty fire finds out there. We'll get into it. Marshall's at three, Burlington two, Ross at number one. DD's discounts staying at number five. No one tagged us. No one cares. Number four, TJ Maxx actually stepped up. Take a look at some of these jerseys that TJ Maxx has out there. So 760 Cleater, Moon Merch, Dapper Fanatic. Uh, $70. I think retail on this one was like 100 or 130 for this jacket. Gloves still out there, $5. And then some salute to service gloves, 54 retail, $12. They are what? 2016 NFL Fierce. So pretty interesting. Never seen something like that. Now, Electric Relish, two of these jerseys, I don't care what size they are. They are, I think, bigger. This one was a 4X and the Elijah one. But Isaiah Thomas, Elijah on all-star jerseys for $30. I wish my TJ Maxx would get anything like this. I haven't seen – my TJ Maxx sucks, honestly. I think foam posits might be the only thing we've ever gotten, but nothing like these type of uh, Mitchell and Ness jerseys out there. So Mitchell and Ness, and also shout-out Dapper Fanatic for the uh, Penguins Hockey Fights Cancer jerseys. This one a little bit pricier, $10 more, but everything fully sewn for that Penguins jersey. It says two size 50, one size 54. Uh, so I think all three of these jerseys uh, pretty fire out there. My TJ Maxx is awful. I agree. Um, how and wow, <laughs> district deals. I have no clue. But someone also found, I didn't see it in here, but uh, Seattle Supersonics, I think it was like uh, a satin jacket mitchell and this jacket and it was like 29 dollars. there's some other satin jackets in there tj maxx might be bringing out some fire go take a look at that diaper fanatic sold two out of three so far nice 
All right, Marshalls. That was it. Our only TJ Maxx finds, but at least they were good. Marshalls, three stars. Foam posters are still out there. So here we go. Moon merch, thrifting together, sneaky hustler and souls and stitches. Jets, which Dolphins are playing the Jets this week. Somebody has to win. I don't know how that's going to work out. Jets suck. We know Dolphins suck. One win combined for both of these teams. <laughs> um, we're going to see what happens. Crosby jersey. I think that's Fire Moon merch. Picking that one up. They're together with a, it's kind of like a remade starter New York Knicks, like pullover type hockey jersey looking thing. Pretty cool though. I don't know what the price is. And Sneaky Hustler with a on field retail 295 Philip Rivers jersey on clearance. And kind of what makes me wonder though, on clearance though. And and it's and it's a good size too, size forty. Nobody wanted to pick up the Philip Rivers jersey, and people told me living in LA, they don't care for the Chargers. So maybe that's maybe that is true if they're gonna leave that in there. Cardinals fan, thank you for Kenyon Drake. Yes, traded him to the Cardinals for I think uh, what did we get like a fifth rounder for him or something. Uh, activate hustle mode, Clausy kicks, TBS marketplace, and mile high hustle. Uh, 30 bucks, not bad for the T Max Monopoly game back out there. I remember this one years ago. It's super heavy, luxury edition. And Clausy kicks $59 for the baseball catcher leg guards. And TBS marketplace, look at that retail $469. Uh, for the hunting clothes, Under Armour hunting clothes. $50 was the uh, Marshall's price. So, man, $469. bucks were not messing around uh, for that one. Let me see what the score is uh, for baseball. Speaking of baseball, catcher leg guards, 1-0 still. Astros are up top of the fifth. We sent you Josh Rosen in advance. Next one, Thrifty Cent, $28 for some of the new balance out there. Activate hustle mode for the air more money because we haven't seen enough at Burlington. This one is actually at uh, two of our marshals right now. And I was looking them up and then I was like, what am I doing looking these up? But they're not really signed that great. And sorry, I blocked whoever this was um, for the uh, Mercurial Touch Elite Gloves, $30. Kicks for flips, Florida flipping both. Still, foam posits are out there. How could I not? I, if I would have found them, I would have made a video. Hasn't happened yet. And apparently, they're still out there. Uh, Marshall's $59. Shout out to Daily Hustle, who we met out there in Atlanta and found these Air Max 2017s in all black. That's a nice color right there. Run 23 cells, weightlifting shoes. They were $17 complete with box so pff, random and super cheap uh, let's see purple productions i hit on foams today they're still out there so keep going to marshall's uh, my marshall's is a full disappointment happy camper i agree my marshall's had just sucked ass lately i haven't found anything and i've been trying nothing i think the only thing we found were those what air monies is the only thing my marshall's has See, surprise caught it restock before. I already got them before, so that's that's a nice pickup. Purple Productions. My Marshall sucks from Stone Builder, and uh, let's see, 2017 from Patrick. Price was 69, and I was like, oh, <laughs> oh man, Marshalls used to be the main squeeze. None anymore. All discount stores have been dry. Be honest, laugh out loud from Zombies. Ross has been pretty good for me actually. Burlington okay, uh, but same thing. Still kicking at sports. My Marshalls specifically has been sucking for months uh, but ross i think right now has been pretty good four stars vapor max Kyrie's, kobe's cleats and more ross did go down to number two which is why we gave away a burlington gift card uh for this week so whatever's number one we want to give away those gift cards and you can use it on the number one store for the week Super 6-4, LA Thrifter Hunter and Chicago City Flips and Hustle Crow, Air Max 90s, Air Max 95. Check out the up tempos though, $55. Pretty school, uh, pretty uh that was just like an old school fine. All the old school heads coming out. Will and Jake 
and like, oh yeah, up tempos. And then we have the uh, NMDs for fifty dollars, super six four. Air Max ninety five lost value. I agree. Just depends on the color. Uh, James, what's up? Uh, my Burlingtons were lit this week. Still kicking at sports. Mine sucks. Damn, really? Laugh out loud. Uh, Ross number one, Burlington trash, Doug the Pug. Next one, Lucky on Three Legs, Go Steals and Deals, Activate Hustle Mode, still kicking at sports. So we have the Air Max 90 Muted Bronze, but a size 14, a little bigger. Air Max 97s, Air Max Plus. This one has been out there. I didn't find it, though. And here we have Plus and 97 have a Nike day. That one, awesome for the collection. Wouldn't mind finding this one. Um, I don't, this one looks pretty small though. I don't know what size that one is. At least looking from here, that this lace lock is already here and it ends here, has to be a small size. Uh, let me see, go in here in the chat. $2 from Patrick Miami Workshop. Appreciate that. Two bucks. Miami Workshop. People have been asking, I think more than ever, um, about the workshops and meetups. And I can tell you, uh, when me and Hustle B last out hustled, we talked. Uh, we have something coming up for next year, and how we want to do things to make it to make it good. Because we didn't, I don't think we really did anything for this year as far as traveling as much as we used to. But it was a good break. But we definitely have to get back into it. So it's all I can say right now. But pretty cool plan though, and what we had mixed, totally different than what we've done before. Um, Bigger and better, too. I'll shoot and fly to Texas. Let me know from Patrick. All right. Got to come. Yeah. We're talking about also going in the East. We have to definitely do it. Um, New York, New Jersey, Philly area. We definitely have to do it. Mile High Hustle, SoCal Flipper Finds, Aaron's Retros, and Souls and Stitches. We got KDs. We got Under Armour Gloves, 10 bucks. We also have Beavis and Butthead, Adidas in there, SoCal Flipper Finds. And looks like what 35 bucks. Aaron's retros with the ultra boost, and it's ultra boost size 12, 50 bucks on that one. All right, next one. We just talked about these LP cell soles and stitches, activate hustle mode, and operation retag for the reacts. Now, I'm not saying everybody picked these up that took photos of them. Some people left them behind, some people were just asking, Should I pick them up? And some people did $50 for these. And I've seen them uh, over and over again, at least at my Ross. The Money Makers, Mile High Hustle, Souls and Stitches with both MVP packs, $45 for the Steph Currys. And let's see, this one is a 12, really good size there, size 16. I think I sold a size 15 or 17. It was huge. Uh, Mile High Hustle, two pairs there. And this one is a size 15 on that one. Uh, let me see, uh, Jimmy in the Beacon State when we come to Jersey. Appreciate that, Jimmy. Uh, easy money. Damn, what the <laughs> Zombies got these and sold these. Doug the Pug, size 7. That's a really good size. Um, can confirm my pass from Sam. Pass. Uh, let's see. Yeah, really good, that one. Let's see. I know I saw it under construction about a month ago from Patrick for, uh, what is this, uh, North Miami on Ross Burlington. Next one, Soul Cal Flipper Finds, Rich Finds, Martino Finds, and Hustle Crow. $7 for Soldier, size 14. Man, super clearance, trying to get those out. Air Max Zero at $55. And React Prestos, something I don't think we've seen before. Would you pick these out for the collection? Smash or pass for React Prestos. Says, arguably the most comfortable shoe I've worn. But they were 60 bucks, I think. And Martino finds we got LeBron mags and also got the black and red ones of size. I actually can't even see the size, but LeBron 14s out there. I think they're $58. At least that's what I've seen them for. Uh, Smash and, and Smash Rec Prestos already. I know I'm pretty surprised Ross already getting these. Um, they weren't released that, that long ago, I think. All right, Ghost Deals and Deals. And Hustle Crow. So these are still out there, man. And they're going to go down on clearance. There's just too many of them. They're priced too high. 
They're just not, they're not taking them. Go steals and deals with the flying at Air Max. Downs a nice pickup. Tans finds Jordan 31 All-Star size 18, but went down to $35. I think still, I don't care how big they are, 35, brand new. Why not? I think try it out. Let's see. If not, <laughs> you can return them. And LA Thrifter Hunter with the Air Max 1, Crusty the Clowns out there. And this one, I don't know what the price is on that one. Would you rock these? I think we talked about them last week, though. Pretty crazy uh, color. Activate Hustle Mode. Flip the script. Naughty Dog Trading and LP sells $69 for the Air Max Plus Black Shark. A little pricey on that one. We had some of the Kobe's in here. I remember when these Kobe's were on clearance. I think at the Nike outlet. Uh, it's been a while though. Kyrie's on there, fifty-eight dollars, and Vapor Max for seventy dollars in men's size nine. Um, so on here about shipping the bats. Order the USPS Triangle tubes on the USPS website. You'll have to use two. I agree. Still kicking its sports. If you are picking up the bats, we'll see it here at Burlington. Uh, going through the breakdown. Uh, that's. Yeah, I sold two of them. I did ship them in that like triangle one. So order them. They're free. USPS. That's gonna be your best one. Does Vapor Max still sell well? Yes, on certain colors though. Some are sitting. Some have sold well. The Chinese New Year one have done very well. Let's see. Russo resells, District Deals, Hustle Crow, and LA Thrifter Hunter, all with different Kyries out there. District Deals and Hustle Crow with Kyrie Friends. Now, these, I believe, are in kids. This one is a size four, two pairs there. This one looks small. I'm guessing it's also in kids. Kyrie's, I did pick this one up on the Ross video. You guys saw that one. And a LA Thrifter Hunter. This one, though, flip the switch, is insane money. If you do see this one out there. Picked up three pairs, uh, which is insane and I don't know what the sizes are. I don't know if it really matters. I remember finding this one maybe like a year and a half ago. Big money on the uh, Kyrie 3 flip the switch. Even the PG flip the switch. Any flip the switch. Good money. Florida flipping. We're just talking about the igloos and what, what the three pairs right there. Soles and stitches with the NXT Mamba Curial. $58. More Igloos, Activate Hustle Mode, and Kobe Fearless, $58. Haven't seen this color, though, in the purple, so I'm pretty sure those are selling pretty good. At least the yellow one was priced pretty high, so I like this one. Uh, solid pickup for uh, the purple one. Don Alpha Cleat, Super 6'4", uh, my boy Will, and what he sell anything and go steals and deals with the foam posits. They're also in kids, $39. Here's my question, smash or pass for the foam posits. People have been asking, are you still picking these up? I think Ghost Deals and Deals ask, are you still picking these up? I've never seen them. I would still pick them up. Foams are foams, and they're $40. Um, I don't care about the color, too. This one, Hyper Crimson, even though they look like a, almost look like a brown copper orangey. I don't know what. It's like a random color, though. Let me see. Smash for myself. Solid color. Smash. Uh, James says, hi, what's up? Smash. And smash from Victor again. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think definitely still picking these up for 40 bucks. So, next one, Clossy Kicks. Don Alpha Cleat. Ross Shallington. Uh, not on this lunch, bake, uh, lunch break. Dinner time with Ross Shallington. Four, three pairs of igloos. Also got the Vapor Max in there. People have been finding this one. I haven't seen it. Electric Relish with the PGs. Also with the uh, Air Max Plus. Same thing done off of Cleat. And high end cleats. Still out there. 30 bucks. So no complaints. Uh, then plus, though. Yeah, 300 whatever listings. People are still buying them. Some people aren't. I think Hustlebee also saw one today. Um, I did get one. And I don't know what size it was. Now I'm thinking, like, eh, return, maybe. <laughs> Next one. Flipping Sneaks. 
One hell of a haul. You got a bunch of LeBrons, 270s, and Kyries. Maximo finds, always killing it out there. Foam Posit Floral, 720s, Vapor Max, and 270s. Uh, Murtown Merchants, up tempos, 270s, 720s, and a bunch of Vapor Max. So this guy must have hit a restock or grand opening or something here. Uh, but Mega Halls now are showing up. Optimal Kicks. Air Max Plus, Kobe's, Kobe's, a bunch of Kobe's, purple, the red NXT, the igloos, everything you want in here. Um, so there we go. Let's see. I like to find Kobe's one day, Doug the Pug, just one day. Maximo doing the work. Yeah, Maximo killing it. Uh, let's see. Ross needs to keep flooding those igloos. I can get a personal pair of 13s for the cheap from Rocky. Uh, let's see. I got eight and a half in those, plus sold the same day, Stone Builder. So... Yeah, some of those still worth picking up depending on the size. Take a look, do the research just like you normally would on those Air Max plus these green ones. Now we get into rare random finds. Super 6-4, we met in Las Vegas. $20 for the OBJ cleats. Now the size, 12 and a half. Okay, but 20 bucks and individually numbered. Uh, for the ex exact specifications for Odell Beckham Jr., numbered 308 out of 350. Uh, Ross, this is why I love Ross, though, is that, like, what kind of random stuff do they just get out of the blue? And this one out there, and for $20, uh, Super 6-4, shout out to you. I wonder what you have it priced at. Maybe you're catching the replay. Maybe you are here in the chat. But, uh, yeah, insane for that one. And District Deals, $34 for, I believe these are kids. I mean, they look pretty small. Unless they're women's. I don't remember. Were these women's or kids when they came out? Uh, Jordan 11 Low, Snake Skin in Pink, District Deals. Shout out to you, $35. Eugene, that's it. I'm moving to D.C. Um, which one Which one do you think is more fire? I mean, I think either one, you're, you're going to take them. But... I love both of these finds, and that's why I kept them at the very end because they're just so random. And what is out there? Oh, women's. Okay, nice. Even better. I think way better for women's than for kids. Uh, cool kicks. Those are women's. Zombies, none. Uh, those 11 lows, two. OBJs are sick. The cleats. So there we go. With the next one, which is Burlington being at number one. Vapor Max and Air Max 97, Cleats, Air Force One, District Deals is here as well, and Kobe's. DRN Investments with the bats and also these NBA things that I haven't listed yet, which I probably should get to it. Uh, Sneaker Finds 12, $35 Ultra Boost. That's a super steal. Even for the collection, $35 uh, for these Ultra Boost. Thrifting together, again, bringing out... I think Jake even commented on this one. He's like, I've never seen those. Of course, Jake getting hyped up on some Grant Hill lows, $40. Souls and Stitches, $30 for Romaleos, size 14. I don't care for the size because at $30, you're definitely picking those up. Haven't found those bats yet. Happy Camper. Um, I haven't seen them either, but I wonder how many bats are listed. We haven't looked that up. And 35 Ultra Boost. So we covered everything on this one. Sneaker Finds 12. Kobe's DeRozan. I remember this one at the outlet last December, I think. Still kicking at sports. Kobe Pro Tros are now hitting Burlington. Maybe hitting up Ross. I love the shoe. The bad thing is, at least the ones that I picked up from the outlets, they took me so long uh, to sell. I was like... Man, this is ridiculous on these Protros. And they kept tanking, too, um, on the price. Uh, Grant Hill's got resale value. Seen them for 30 Some do. Depends on, I think, original OG Grant Hill colorway will do way better than, I think, the Lowe's. But um, Cheddar Bob, nice little haul. So React, I can see in there. Janowski's also the Jordans. But those Kobe's, Kobe AD, that one, I don't know what the price is but fire and money on that one. Uh, flipping sneaks, handful of cleats. Cheddar Bob again, district deals and hustle to win. Sneaker finds 12 and Cheddar Bob. What I like about the Cheddar Bob post is that 
he hit us up first with a $60 one. And then he caught the miss tag at $20. Um, so that one's awesome. 20 bucks. And Sneaker Finds 12 District Deals. So these, they can resell well, but same thing. Check the size, do the research and everything. But we did see it on our giveaway, and there are quite a bit of them already listed. Mr. Steelier finds Operation Retag and Super 64 and Martino finds. I put all these in one just because they're all Jordan. And maybe we'll get other Jordan stuff coming back. I think Super 64, these went clearanced down to like $17 or something. Um, and that one was like, I think it's a super huge size or something, but 17 bucks still. All right, Think TNC, District Deals, Hustle to Win, and Classic Kicks, all with the Vapor Max. And Think TNC made some good money in Mercari. District Deals, $70. And I think the same ones here. So Hustle to Win got these Classic Kicks with the white and pink Vapor Max flying it. So a little bit different than some of the other uh, Vapor Max 2019s that we've seen. Kicks for flips. That's the one we used for our photo for the 270s. Martino finds with React and the uh, football vapor cleats and kicks for flips again with Tailwind and more Reacts. That was like a bunch of them. All right. Sorry, I'm glad. Hope you're feeling better. Yes, I am. Thank you. Appreciate that. No problem. Glad you're here joining the live show. Carolina Kicks, more ref shirts. I've been looking for the ref shirts. Have not seen them. Lakers reversible jersey, iconic steals and deals. I don't know what the price is on this one. Stevie D reselling, killing it with the up tempos and surge sell stuff with the JDI Air Max Plus. Daily hustle, same thing with the football cleats. Mile high hustle, different with the four savage. I think are there newer ones. I haven't seen this color out there, but I think there was a white one. I don't remember the size. It might have been pretty small. Still kicking at sports uh, with the Crucial Catch, size 10, $25. And thrifting together, look at that, golf, $20. Sells for $150 on, the, on eBay. Yeah, golf doesn't mess around, especially this model, for $20. All right, I haven't seen any of the rev shirts. NBA gear hasn't popped in my area. Uh, let me go to, please stop with the 270s for 64 unless they are Dornbecker. Uh, I agree, Pat, on that one. Uh, Diamond Reef cleats, flip flips, more cleats. We got the bats from Murtown Merchants and Klausi kicks with some cleats and a little snack at hand. Candy pop popcorn with that Butterfinger. So fire right there. Next one, oh hey, oh flips and Irish fan rock with the 97s. And looks like we got what two pairs here, another pair here. It's not bad. Now we're getting into a couple of finds that we should talk about. This one, and I think the next one or two of these slides. All right. Souls and Stitches and Sneaker Flip with the Soulfly Jordan 13 cleats. Um, Alex, what's up? And uh, Tomato Supra, what's up? Those cleats are crazy. Now, they are crazy, and seeing them in hand, they are... It's pretty cool, all the details in it. Now, here's my only thing. Picking out for 20, you're not losing, no matter what. We just don't know what kind of market it is out there. So... I don't care if you see them out there. You're going to scoop them up. Doesn't matter the size. You're getting them. And uh, I break this find down a little bit more on the next video on Friday. And as far as doing the research, as far as people listing them and best offer and what they took. Now, I can verify looking at them and going deeper into the listings. Two people did accept um, 600 and 700 as a best offer so they made away with sick money for this shoe and of course listing at a thousand i listed it as, as a thousand and um some some of them i don't know they're just not they're starting to list at like 350 some did sell at 200 which is a lot lower extreme lower but still i i don't know if you can really complain 
getting them at 20 selling for 200 and they actually did sell. No, I don't recommend posting them for 200. Yes, you're making money, but don't post them at 200. Stay patient. Let's just see what happens. I don't know who's in the market for those type of cleats. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. Play it out. District deals, of course, had to uh, go terrible ROI. Exactly. A district deals $45 with the Air Force One skeleton. Now, this one, six and a half in boys, doesn't matter. Even then, in boys, what, 300, I'm guessing, 350 is probably what they're selling for. I don't know how this one is at Burlington, but also makes people double and triple check kid section. And Hustle Don't Stop 81, uh, LeBron 15s at $50. I think this is the first. Have we seen LeBron 15s? Other people tagging us on 15s? I know we've seen 14s. And maybe we saw, what was the other one that we saw? Oh, yeah, we have seen LeBron 15s, but we just hadn't seen them in a long time. Uh, this one, I don't know what the size is. And the price I said was $50. So. If LeBron 15s are showing up, I think that's pretty awesome. I like the price. And uh, the Air Force One's $45. Uh, what size are those 15s? I don't know. It's blocked right now. I can't see that size. It's got sensor, everything else, so we know being in there, but I don't know what the size is. Uh, let's see. Does Burlington have soft openings? Yes, they do. I got Grant Hill, Jamal Mashburn, Fila everywhere in my Burlington. Uh, Jamal Mashburn. haven't heard that name in a long time. Uh, and so this week, uh, DD's Discounts, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross at number two, Burlington at number one. And Ross, I have them both at four stars because Ross could have been number one. I, I think they're both doing very well right now. But Ross, great finds, uh, except if you find Air Max Plus, they might get a little flooded right now. So Burlington gift card, congrats to our winner. And uh, you want to go watch the World Series, top of the sixth. Astros are up 2-0. And we are done with the live show. Let me get out of this. Well, where are we? Uh, what happened to my original screen that I had on here? All right, remove. Okay. Uh, we're done on that. Uh, question, do all these stores have to bid on the one loads of shoes? Or why are some stores better week after week? Um that's a good question. I don't know on how they, I wonder how they also kind of like delegate like which stores are getting which like Burlington first between Burlington and Ross and Marshall's. And then once Ross does get them, you know, which stores are getting what? Um, and that's, it's one of the things I wondered. So I have no clue. I wish I knew more about how uh, maybe if the channel goes further and then, you know what, we should contact Ross corporate and be like, Hey, we got to see behind the scenes. How is this working? How can we get better deals? <laughs> MVP pass at a one-time use. I think one per day. Uh, do you ever source at night? I do. And the Ross by my house, I think closes at 1 a.m. Um, the only thing I don't like about certain stores at night and at morning is that they are pretty messy um, and some stores just don't care and you might be harder to find some things uh, afternoons. I think when most people go, so I like to mix it up though. But what I do like going at night though, is that there's no one there to like, it's not super jam packed. You're not waiting in line forever. Uh, so there's, there's good and bad, I guess for every time. Did you find anything at the outlet today? I did. And so me and the wife got 50 pairs today at the outlet, but most of them being for Amazon though, not really anything. I think the only other thing that I got that would be for eBay and all that cleats again, whatever the sizes were left over. I did pick up some Kyrie's. Um, so I'll show that in the video and one, uh, what, what else was there? Man, one of the LeBrons was, 139 the day before, which was still too high. I wasn't going to get them. But the next day, uh, <laughs> which was friends and family today, 159. I was like, man, these guys are brutal. Um, friends and family, one time use, right? I believe it's one per day. I think you can use it one per day. Um, and if you have backup accounts, well, you can just mix and match all of those. 
Uh, let me see. You're on getting Amazon with a dream. Uh, it is uncertain pairs. People don't really talk about also how quickly, I mean, just like with anything else, like I know people are a eBay. There's a lot of competition. Goat. There's a lot of competition. Same thing with Amazon. Like there's competition on all the platforms. Even if you are ungated depends on the pair and the size. There's some shoes where I got the right size and the right colorway. They sold quick picking it up for like $45 selling at like 145. But then there's also pairs that there was nothing going on, picked them up, sent them in. Now there's, you know, 40 listings and they brought it down to $70. So it's, it's the same thing with all the other platforms. Like just depends what it is. Uh, impacting <laughs> hashtag impacting uh, no to flip it. Look who it is. Um, see Nike playing games like women dug the pug. Uh, they did that with my LeBrons as well. So there we go. The one, the, the big time price change. Um, hit that thumbs up, people. Uh, appreciate that. Uh, terms do say per day from Dapper Fanatic. My outlet said friends and family one time use. Um, yeah, it should be one per day though. Uh, let's see. Don't they hit you with the fees for sitting in FBA? Uh, there are fees on that for sure. Storage fees uh, depends also what it is. Um, and also the weight to them. Um, uh, do you sell luggage? I don't, but backpacks and other bags I have sold and have sent them in. Um, let's see anything else. Picked up LeBron limited outlet tonight from TBS. Nice. Looks like baseball bats alive. And what else I was going to show you guys. So I'm going to do the breakdown like I normally do on the outlet videos. And here was one, like here was this one, right? Of 109 was the price yesterday. And then today it was, where is it? The Vapor Max Flyknit. Uh, 129 with your extra 30% off. So for the Nike Outlet video, I'm going to show you the ones that were overpriced, the ones that stayed the same, and none of them went down. So we know that. Do you only sell on eBay? No. eBay, Amazon, Goat, and StockX. I've been watching your old Out Hustle video, learning a lot. Appreciate that, Eugene. Yeah, a lot of old uh, old videos uh, out there, me and, and Hustle Beef Out Hustled. And there's some of them are pretty long. Let's see, undercutting my fly net sneaky feet. Uh, does Glenn find people to report the same store success that Glenn has far as rankings week after week? For instance, Glenn says Burlington number one, so also people. Um, and here's the thing too, like I'm doing, I do number one based off of at least my breakdown is, is number one because of what everyone's been sending me and the fines in general. Uh, for me, I think personally, Ross has been number one. Uh, I would probably say then Burlington and honestly, Marshall's TJ Maxx are like the same for me right now. Like neither one of them are coming up with uh, any fines for me lately. Didi should be number one. Appreciate your videos, Glenn. Thanks, Miles. Also for hanging out on the live show, watching the whole live show. Uh, Glenn's rankings are rigged. Love watching your vids. Appreciate that as well. And one law, what one Ross last everything else. Your rigged issue deals. Uh, for real, appreciate the post <laughs> from Shipley. Uh, what's your eBay? G Customs forty one. Coles should be number one. Marshalls is horrible. Now, note the flip. It's just here. Now he's just trolling and, and making whatever comments. Know what to flip it. Me and know what to flip it. Again, we will rematch. So we play, We probably should have done this for uh, for YouTube. We played Ross Shallington and Hustle B in pool for money. And some $25 games, $50 games, $100 games. And uh, <laughs> it didn't go as well for me and know what to flip it and next time we're going to rematch and we'll do it we'll do a live or we'll post it for youtube but we did lose money <laughs> okay we're done i think with a live show no video now we're gonna have video inside imagine uh streaming live at this bar showing the video let's uh, see jake's got those after effects skills video editing let's hit you half court shots all day while i hustle uh so disappointed. 
See, Chase Q4 strategies. Uh, my Ross is awful. Jimmy, thanks. Uh, thanks for hard work, Dapper Fanatic. And all right, you guys hanging out, especially during World Series, still 2 0. And uh, shout out to, uh, oh man, I forgot who won the uh, uh, Nahal Singh. Shout out to you. I forgot who won. I have to go back and see who won the uh, 50 bucks. But appreciate that, guys. Friday, Burlington video. Monday, I got to knock out this uh, MV, well, well, not MVP, <laughs> uh, friends and family video. I'll get that one out for Monday. And then we'll go from there. Who knows after that for next week. But appreciate it, guys. Go out and get it.